What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dollar Mike, aka Michael Mitchell, and I'm back at it again with another video. In today's video, we have tons of Apple Car stuff to talk about, basically a whole Apple Car news update, so I'm not going to waste your time. They announced tons of things over the past couple weeks, so let's just get right into the video. Let's go. As I mentioned, Apple has been super busy with the Apple Car lately, so I definitely want to run through all these different things. This might be a little bit of a lengthy video, but I'm telling you, all this is gold information. You should know this information if you plan on getting an Apple Car or if you already have an Apple Car. So let's just start with the first bullet point I have, which is if you plan on getting an Apple Car, you can actually get $50 for free just for signing up for the card. Like most credit cards that already have a sign up bonus, the Apple Card is actually getting one. If you're an earlier adopter like me that already have an Apple Card, you're out of luck, you're just not gonna get it. For the month of July and July only, so that means July 1st through 31st, right now is actually July 6th. If you sign up for the Apple Card, get the Apple Card and purchase an Apple service, you'll get $50 for free. So that means you can go and buy your Apple Music uh, membership, you can go and buy Apple TV, you can go and buy an app off the App Store, anything like that, and they'll give you $50 for free. So you go and do that, you go and get an Apple Card, you sign up, you get approved, you go buy an app, an app off the app store for like what, $1.99 and they'll give you $50 straight up. $50 for free does daily cash. So it'll probably be in your account or at your Apple Pay cash account probably in about a day or maybe two days to say, something like that. But regardless, you sign up for the Apple Car in the month of July, you get it, you buy an Apple service, $50 for free. You can't really go wrong with that. It's free $50. If you don't want to use the Apple Car, don't use it. You still have a credit card. Hey, it is what it is. But $50, you can't go wrong with that. So that's it for the first thing. Next thing up is Apple actually lowered the interest rates even more on the Apple Card. So now the interest rates are anywhere between 10.99% and 21.99%. That is slightly lower than the average. Nothing crazy. Other credit cards have the same about interest rate. But just thought I'd let you know that the interest rates are slightly lower now. But we don't pay interest around here anyway because we essentially pay our card off in full every single month. So even if our interest was 50%, I wouldn't personally care because I'm not paying interest. As long as you pay the card off in full every single month, you don't have to worry about any interest ever. But if this you know interests you or makes you want to get the Apple card even more, there you go. It's 10.99 up to 21.99% now instead of whatever it was before, but it was higher. If you like using your Apple card to pay for gas, I got some good news for you. So now you're getting 3% back at all Exxon and mobile gas stations. Normally it was before it was 1% back because that's all you got back if you used it. Maybe 2% if you use Apple Pay to actually do it, but now you're getting 3% back whether however you use it, doesn't really matter. 3% back at all Exxon and mobile gas stations. So if you go to Exxon to get gas or you go to mobile to get gas, there you go, 3% back, can't argue with that. Nothing wrong with that, and that's daily cash as well. So you know, once that process goes through, that transaction goes through, you'll get that within about a day or two, and that'll be in your Apple Pay Cash account as well. Which you can obviously transfer to your bank account or pay off your bill, do whatever you want with it. It's all up to you. Make sure you watch my other Apple Card videos to find out how to use the Apple Card in its full use. So if you actually want to get the Apple Card, but you got denied for it in the past, or you want to get an Apple Card and you're not actually sure if you'll get approved for it because you don't really have much credit or anything, you can go through the new program, which is called the Path to the Apple Card program. With this four month Path to the Apple Card program, Apple will actually keep track of you making payments, making sure you don't have any past due balance balances, making sure you're actually pay, making payments to those secured and unsecured debts on time while lowering your credit card and personal loan debt. And Apple will also reach out to you once a month to let you know the update on your progress towards improvement. Once you actually complete that program after four months, Apple will then send you an invite to reapply for the Apple card, in which case you should be approved for it if you wish to have an Apple card. Number one, it's a free program that Apple's doing that they definitely don't have to do. I don't really see any other credit card companies making up something like this for you to do to get your credit better. But I mean, if Apple cares about something like that, that's perfectly fine. I mean, everybody should strive to have better credit, the best credit they can have. But I mean, if a company's gonna go out of their way to help you actually get better credit, then that's even better. And obviously they want you to use their card. So that's probably the main reason for that. If you don't exactly know how credit works and credit cards and such, Apple is actually on your side. It seems like this in this program, but you know, you can also check out some of my credit card videos and they'll teach you the exact same thing. I'm pretty sure Apple is gonna show you in this path to the Apple card program. Regardless, it's definitely a cool thing to have and if you got denied before go ahead and sign up it doesn't hurt and you'll get your credit better and you'll get the apple card so can't really go wrong with that so there you go as you guys may or may not know the apple card has extreme security i mean there's not even any numbers on the card and basically every time you use the card online the numbers are randomized so people obviously want to get their transaction data off their apple card so they can put it in there like you know excel sheets and whatnot whatever you need to do you know people keep track of their finances in different ways or even places like mint.com where you can go and plug in all your finances and have your own personal budget apple card doesn't support that as well but as of right now you can actually have your apple card data exported 
into a Quicken or QuickBooks format. So if you use Quicken or QuickBooks or anything like that to track your finances, there you go. Apple Card is 100% supported for stuff like that. As far as Mint.com and stuff like that, I know a lot of people use Mint.com to track their first personal finances, but it's not supported yet. Maybe in the future, we'll find out. If you've been impacted by the health crisis going on outside, Apple has got you covered once again. They now have deferred payments going all the way through the month of July. So if you can't pay for your bill through the month of July, they got you covered. There will be no interest on those payments. You just need to go in and actually let them know that you can't pay for your bill for this month. And there you go. They'll have you covered. You still will have to pay for that bill over time, but for the month of July, you won't incur any interest. So you don't have to worry about anything for that. If you can't pay for it, Apple's got you covered. Just let them know. If they don't, if you don't let them know, then they're going to just charge you interest like it's nothing. So make sure you let them know and make sure you still have to make sure you still understand that you still have to pay that once everything is said and done. I told you guys this was gonna be a lengthy Apple Card update video, but I'm actually on my last point, which is the Apple Card web portal. So if you wanna go online and pay for your bills, like through your Mac or your PC, you pay your bills, you view your statements, you can do all that online now. Originally, you couldn't do that. You had to do it on your Apple Card on your phone. So now, you still need to have an iPhone to get the Apple Card or apply for it, do everything you need. But if you wanna actually pay for your bill, view your statements, all that kind of stuff, you can actually do that on your desktop now, which is nice. Um, millions of people definitely do all their finance stuff either on their laptop or their desktop they a lot of people actually still don't like using their phones to do deal with all their financing stuff which makes perfect sense i mean you can sit down at a desk and really just you know space everything out have everything you know laid out for you you can do that on your phone as well but you know it's a smaller screen it's just it's just more you know i mean i guess it's just less of a hassle so however you want to do take care of your finances however you want to pay your bill and whatnot you can either do it on your desktop or you can do it on your phone i personally do it on my phone but i mean it doesn't really matter in the event, maybe I'll use the mobile web portal one time. Who really knows? And that is all I have for you guys today for the Apple Car update video. But I do want to run through them super quick, real quick for you guys one more time. So we got $50 promotion for July. We have lower interest rates. We got 3% back on Exxon and mobile gas stations. We had the path to the Apple Car program. So if you got denied, you can get approved in the future. We have Apple Car data being exported in a Quicken format. We also have deferred payments through the month of July. And we have the Apple Car web portal now available so if you want to use any of that stuff take advantage of any of that stuff the information is all available to you online thank you for watching this video make sure you hit it with a like button if you liked it that's all i ask really that's all i ask if you have any questions make sure you drop them down below make sure you check out my apple card videos like i have tons of apple card videos at this point make sure you also check out all my other credit videos or just general videos as well because i make videos all about personal finance saving money investing all that kind of good stuff so if you like any of that make sure you just check out the channel make sure you like this video like those videos make sure you hit that subscribe button I got you covered. I promise that. Dollar Mike, I'm out. Peace. Peace.